Hello everyone, my name is Bode Olutumbi, this is Kemi Olutumbi. Hello. <laughs> Last week we started a series talking about sex and we asked you a very interesting question. Is God in your bedroom? This week we're exploring that whole idea further. God created our sexuality. God gave us sex in marriage. What was his purpose? And how do we live out his purpose in our journey as couples? Yes. So we want to delve a little bit deeper and say, oh, that sounds interesting, delving a little bit deeper. <laughs> sex is God's design. God created sex. Sex is designed by God for us, one, to enjoy it. The Bible says that, you know, every good gift is from God and he wants us to enjoy it. The second thing to say as well is that sex is for procreation. There's no other way to have sex. I mean, to have children if we're not having sex. True. I think the third thing to say as well is that sex is about the sealing of a covenant that establish that is established between us as husband and wife. Yes. Yes. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Great. So in the Old Testament, when the Jewish people got married, there wasn't anything around, you know, a wedding certificate as we know it now. What would happen would be the families would agree that a husband um, and a wife were getting married. And then on the night of the wedding, they'd give them a white sheet and they would go into the house, you know, just imagine everybody waiting. And then of course, there would be the breaking of the hymen, which would lead to a shedding of blood. And they would bring out the white sheet with the blood in there, showing that a covenant of marriage had been sealed and established as well. So every time we have sex as well, we're resealing a covenant. It's a remembrance of the covenant that is exists between us as husband and wife. The other thing we always say to the couples in the premarital classes is that sex is your wedding gift from God. It's the one thing you can do that you don't have to make any payment for. It's free. The best things in life are free. And sex is that for a husband and a wife. Excellent. Excellent. Definitely one of the best things in life. Yes. Um, so having established the purpose of sex um, and its multifaceted nature, it's important to also note that sex really does happen at three levels for us as couples. It happens at an emotional level. It happens on a physical level and it also happens on a spiritual level and that is why we are joined to become one as we experience uh, an active sexual life in our marriage and that is also why we get more emotionally connected as we have an active sex life in our marriage and of course there is a physical dimension to having sex as well so for you to have a great sex life all three need to be activated Absolutely. you know looking through the bible if we look at the word no i.e to know it is actually used to refer to sexual intercourse but that same word is also used to describe our growing relationship with god yes. getting to know god so essentially in both contexts the point that is being made is an idea of a deeper level of intimacy Sex activates a deeper level of intimacy between a husband and a wife. That is God's intention. It is that through our sexual relationship, we are able to foster a much deeper level of intimacy with each other. We are able to connect with each other in a much deeper way. This is a spiritual activity. Yes. And a form of worship to God, actually. Yes, it because is. it honors Him. And when we adopt it, and understand its purpose and we embrace it it really is very honoring to god absolutely but it was looking so serious they're talking about <laughs> sex sex is fun. it's a serious thing Mrs. it o. is i agree <laughs> i agree so now it's important to say that what happens outside the bedroom affects what happens in the bedroom you can't compartmentalize to get the most in terms of what God has. So we need to pay attention, you know, there's this joke, I read it somewhere in a marriage book where it says that, you know, chore play leads to foreplay. When you help your wife's husband, 
if you want to have a great sex life you know help your wife outside of the bedroom you know so that she's less tired and she can help yeah, you engage inside the bedroom and help you inside the bedroom and wives do it's great to desire husband so help him by making room for him and helping him as well by telling you you want sex too but sex is meant to be enjoyed by men husbands and by wives too women okay so one in four couples will experience a challenge in their sex lives at some point that's what the stats say you know so if you're going through a season where it's a bit challenging for various reasons which we'll talk about as the weeks go on it's okay it's not a big deal it's not the end of your lives you know of your sex lives rather i think the important thing is to acknowledge it and to be able to talk about it rather than pretend that you know nothing is happening that's when the enemy can come in and it's quite instructive that um there's a part of the bible in first corinthians 7 i believe or second corinthians 7 that actually talks about the need to have regular sex and to have mutual agreement before we abstain so it's really about the two of us working together as a couple having said that um, i think it's also important to stress again that there are boundaries when bodies share that scripture earlier that you know the marriage bed is undefiled there are boundaries sex is meant to, that was last week sorry sex is meant to be enjoyed by the two of us and it's meant to be between a husband and a wife exclusively exclusively so we've said a few things here i guess the question that we want to leave you with this week is what needs to happen outside the bedroom so that you can have a great sex life yeah. in the bedroom till next week <laughs> actually we should pray shouldn't we a short yes, prayer sure. okay then dear lord would you help us lord to enjoy sex the way that you designed for us to would you also help us have the conversations that we need to have lord yes, thank you lord that you're such a kind god yes. and every good and perfect gift including sex comes from you yes. in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. 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 So Amen. until we see you next week, keep the Lord in the bedroom. Absolutely. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.